Cooking Matters is a national program that focuses on increasing cooking and nutrition skills for adults and families living on low incomes. In person, pre-pandemic, it was a lot of logistics around um, cooking together in the same classroom. There's a section for cooking and nutrition, practicing a lot of kitchen skills. And like the main thing is that we're all cooking together. So when the pandemic started, we were trying to figure out, well, what, what do people need right now? The first thing that we did was think about just sharing some basic skills and, and tried to focus on things that people would be able to find in food banks or just lower cost items. So a lot of our work kind of experimenting with what does work and what do people need and how do we create a warm atmosphere, a together atmosphere just within our in our own kitchens. In a really like socially isolated time, it's been really cool to have um, a space for people to come together each week and cook. We have been asking people to take pictures of their foods on the Fridays after our cooking demos and then send them to us. So one of the first things that we do in our classes in the beginning of the week is share the pictures that everyone sent in, um, which could be a kind of like a fun and community building thing too. It's a space where you can just, you don't have to cook, but you can cook. You can just listen, you can talk, you can chat in the chat box. Um, you can watch the recipe and learn how to do it just from watching and make it on your own later. It's fun too to have people like share along in the process too. So like, okay, like where are people at with chopping their onions and like showing where people are at and having like people give like a thumbs up or thumbs down, thumbs sideways. People will actually either bring their computers or their phones or their cameras over to like show where they're at. And so it feels a lot more like cooking in person. Working at Solid Ground, our commitment to anti-racism is something that's really present in our team and, and in everybody that works at Solid Ground. We've had to really reimagine the way that we're delivering a lot of the curriculum and that has given us a little bit of space to also imagine how can we better live into that anti-racism commitment. We're providing more historic context and we're talking more about the systems that are at play that make it so that people are unable to access healthy quality food and bringing our participants into those conversations. But a lot of what nutrition education is in the United States is really like white American diet dominant. And so just trying to highlight recipes from all over the world. So curry was kind of this invention from the British colonizers to evoke the flavors that they saw in Indian cuisine. Um, there was a lot of wealth created by the spice trade that wasn't really invested back into the country of India. It was actually kind of invested back into the British empire really tells a lot about like the history of places and the way that a lot of the food that we eat is really shaped by colonization. I think one thing that gives me hope is just seeing people kind of be able to rewrite their own relationships with food. I know that food is like such a cause for celebration for so many people and like enjoyment and pleasure and can also be really like a stressful thing or a shameful thing or like something that's tied to more painful memories. Just people realizing we have the power to reimagine the world and create the world that we want to live in and we have the power to meet our own community's needs because we know what we need and I think recognizing that even as things have been so hard people's ability to still recognize their own power and their own agency is something that gives me a lot of hope. Ooh.